Hello and welcome to the old golden black. I'm Tom Rouse and welcome to this video which is going to be me completing the Wolves end of season survey on the Express and Style website. I did a very similar video last year where things were very very different and it was a completely different sort of tone to the video. Hopefully today there'll be a lot more uh, positivity looking forward to next season. If you're new around here as well don't forget to subscribe to the channel for regular top quality up to the minute content on the Wolves. Why is that all like that? Okay, here we go. So, what was your favourite match of 2017-18? So we've got Villa at home, Bristol City away, Middlesbrough away, Cardiff away, or another. Now, all of those games stand out as being amazing, particularly Bristol and Middlesbrough are games that made me realise how amazing this season was going to be, but the game that saw us all but promoted was Cardiff and even though I cried at the end of the Middlesbrough game because it was so intense the Cardiff game wins that one for me. <clears throat> Who was your player of the season? Well I did a video about this a couple of months ago talking about all the possible candidates and all of these players could have won player of the season in a different year and there's players on this list as well or players who are not on this list who have performed exceptionally as well like Cavaliero uh, for one, Costa, Sace as well, but it's hard to ignore the best player in the championship, Ruben Neves. Most improved player, as I've just mentioned, Sace and Cavaliero, they're of completely different players, the ones that we saw under Paul Lambert last season. But for me, the player who's reinvented themselves and who has turned the career around, arguably, and is now in the reckoning for an England place, I think, Conor Cody. Are you happy with the job head coach Nuno Espirito Santo is doing? Now these results are going to be published in the Express and Star on the 6th or the 8th of uh, June and if this isn't 100% this answer I'll be amazed. Are you happy with the job owners Fosun are doing? It's hard to argue the, the contacts that they've got and the money that they've put into the club and invested is tremendous and it's only getting better so yes I am very happy. Are you happy with the job managing director Laurie Dalrymple is doing? I think he's done a very good job of reconnecting the fans um, to the club or continuing the work that had been done by Jez Moxley. I think he's been ignored quite a lot. I think the work that was done during the League One season to reconnect uh, the fans in the club is, can, shouldn't be forgotten. And Dalrymple then has made sure that when we're going up now that the gap between the fans and the club is not massive and I think he's doing the right things, the right schemes, uh, discounting travel and stuff like that for uh, away games. Are you happy with the job sporting director Kevin Thelwell is doing? Now, last year I was quite critical of him, I think. Uh, it was unclear as to what his actual role was. It's still a little bit unclear, but you have to think that he's probably had a, a hand in bringing in some of the players who are a little bit more under the radar, like uh, Barry Douglas and... Uh, Ryan Bennett and John Ruddy I'd imagine they are Thelwell signings and they've added something extra to the squad it'll be interesting to see how his role develops as the seasons go along now though but yeah I'm happy with his job so far how do you feel about Wolves relationship with George Mendes now this isn't something that I've spoken widely about uh, this year but I'm quite happy with it to be honest because we've seen top clubs have relationships with to agents and we have ambitions to be a top club and now we've got the top agent and he's got no influence in what happens in the club if you only have to look at his tan to realize that he doesn't spend much time in Wolverhampton uh, I'm very pleased that they're using his contacts and hopefully that will continue this season <laughs> which of last season's loanies do you want to be in wolf squad ready for next season and then <laughs> this has been added it must have been Deals were already in place for Willy Bolly and Diogo Jota and now Benica Fobi. So looking at the bottom three then, so Bonatini, Vinagre and Undai, which of those three would I like to sign? I would like to sign Vinagre because of his potential ability. I think Undai is good at championship level. Bonatini was good at the start of the season but has gone right off the boil. And his age as well, he's not going to develop massively. Whereas Vinagre, at only 18, I think will. Which position do you think Wolves need to strengthen the most in the summer transfer window? Uh, now, if I could tick two, I think I would. I think the wing-backs and attack, because of 
there's the lack of competition for Douglas and for Doherty uh, in the full back positions or the wing back positions, but also the lack of depth that we've got up front, which is probably the major concern. So I'm going to go for attack. Aside from signing last season's loan players on permanent deals, how much money should be spent on summers, on some of the transfers this summer? So we've signed, we've already spent 33 million in one day the other day. Uh, now, how much more do I think we're going to spend? I think it depends on uh, how many loans that we get in for next season. I think there's a good chance that Rui, Rui Patricio could be coming in now, and we are apparently going to pay the 18 million pounds as a gesture, even though we could get in for free. So that's if we take take that as 20 million already, and then keep adding on top of that another striker who's going to cost between 15 and 20. I think it's going to be upwards of £50 million pounds that we're going to spend because of the ambition that we've got as well. We're not just going to go and settle for a 10th place finish. I think it's going to be top six. And then, <laughs> this question then, so what is a realistic target for Wolves next season? Personally, I think a realistic target will be top 10, but I think from the signings and the links that we've been, the players that we've been linked to, I think top six is probably quite ambition for, for Fosun and for the Wolves. Uh, but I'm going to say top 10 would be a realistic target. If we could finish 10th, that'd be amazing. How do you feel about Wolves raising ticket prices for next season? Uh, I think the figures speak for themselves. 98% of people who've had season tickets this season have renewed for next season, where usually it's about... So there's a 2% of people haven't. If you consider people moving away to university, people passing away, or people not being able to go to get new jobs or things like that, that's an amazing uh, uptake and I can only see it getting better when they go on general sale next week uh, I think it's fair enough if you work it out per game it's fine if legislation was changed would you like to see safe, safe standing introduced at Molyneux as the South Bank stand every game for the whole game anyway uh, and having been to every away game more or less this season and standing at every away game, it isn't safe, particularly when you get people behind you pushing you, and you can easily go over the the seats in front of you, and it causes more damage than if safe standing was actually introduced properly. So yes, I am for safe standing. How important is it that Wolves stay at Molyneux? Uh, I think it's very important, to be honest. I think it's it's our spiritual home and even though the ground has changed a number of times it, we've been there since the late 1880s and so many th historical events have happened at Molyneux in terms of football games in the 50s <clears throat> I think it's it's vital that we stay if it means <clears throat> if moving to a new stadium means that we can guarantee Champions League football or winning titles and stuff then <sighs> It, then it's a bigger question but at the moment there should be no no doubt you should be staying at Molyneux would you be bothered if the name of the stadium was ever changed uh, yes I would be I think it should always be the Molyneux um, <clears throat> even if it was called Fosun Molyneux then people would still call it the Molyneux but I think Fosun from what I've understood so far they seem to appreciate the history and the culture of Wolverhampton Wanderers and they are keen to keep those certain aspects the same <clears throat> would you like the liquidator to be played again before matches uh, to be honest I can't remember it being played anyway having started to go to matches in 1998 I think they'd maybe already stopped it by then or it was I can't really remember but I've, I get the sense that it is going to make a comeback with them playing it at the Starworks uh, do after the parade and things like that and they played it at the end of season dinner as well Robert Plant and uh, Rick Parfit Jr's band so I think that it will come back would I like it to come back I think that we need something I've mentioned it before bigger than High Ho Silver Line and I think that the liquidator would bring that is having academy players in the squad next season important to you yes I think that the academy for Wolves has produced handful of really really good players over the last 15 years or so and it's a shame that we haven't seen I mean if had we not gone, gone down to League One I don't think we'd have ever seen Danny Bart or Jack Price or uh, Ebanks Landell players like that given the chance um, 
and I think that in Gibbs White and in Conor Ronan, we've got two of the most exciting young players uh, in Britain at the moment. I genuinely think that. How important is a cup run next season? Now, last time we were in the Premier League, it was definitely right. We just want to stay in the Premier League and we'll put out, uh, you know, reserve teams and stuff for the cups. But I do think that having not been to Wembley ever in my lifetime, 1988 was the last time Wolves went to Wembley, and that was for the Sherpa Vans uh, trophy. Um, I think it'd be great to go on a really good cup run and, you know, try and win a league. If we're looking, I think the FA Cup is probably more likely than the League Cup because if we get to Christmas time and we're looking okay in the league, then why not go and try and have a good cup run in the second half of the season and put out a strong team and I just want to see Wolves at Wembley. I'm desperate. And the final question then, how long will Wolves stay in the Premier League? One season, two to four or five or more? So last time we were in there for three, the previous time before that, 2003 four, it's only one season. But I can see with the investment and with the young players that we've got in particular that this is going to be a long project and we're going to stay in the Premier League for the foreseeable future. I hope. <laughs> so the results available on the 8th of June in the Express and Star newspaper. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll leave a link to the survey itself in the comments and you can let me know what you thought. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you next week where hopefully we'll be announcing a massive, massive signing. I've got, got a sense that it's going to be a massive week. Bye-bye.